So imagine that you are on the verge of learning and deep diving into the world of artificial intelligence and generative AI, one of the most sought after and transformative career options of our time. Now here, I want to ask you one simple question. By whom would you like to learn the AI and Gen AI? Well, I'm sure that your answer would be from the market leader. But who exactly is this market leader? So any guesses? Well, I'm sure it is not the big tech company name that is coming in your mind. So who exactly is this world leader? Well, let me tell you it is the company named NVIDIA. So in this video, my friends, I will tell you why exactly is NVIDIA the market leader and how can you learn from NVIDIA, AI and Gen AI free of cost? Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So there are multiple big names in the world of AI and Gen AI like Microsoft, Google, OpenAI, Meta and many more. But do you know what is the common link between all these big tech giants? Second question, what is one common thing between advanced gaming, high-end video editing, animation, 4K or 8K video rendering or cryptocurrency mining? Well, both of these questions are not that tricky to answer, isn't it? So let me tell you the common link between all these big tech giants and the activities with demanding computing speeds are advanced semiconductor chips. And the company behind all these high-end cutting-edge technology is NVIDIA. So let's take a deep dive into what NVIDIA has to offer you, a company that knows ins and outs of the AI and Gen AI from the hardware to the software. For this video, I am going to tell you four very interesting courses from NVIDIA free of cost on Gen AI and AI. There is one paid course as well. You can explore it. There are other free courses as well, my friends. I have given the links in the description. You can explore all of them. And as a bonus, I will also tell you one Gen AI certification free of cost from Databricks as well, which is again a big name in the data and AI industry. And we will start with a free entry level course and that is Generative AI Explained. And here is the cool part. You do not need to have any programming experience to start this course. So let me summarize this course for you. Let me tell you what exactly is Generative AI so that you are more prepared when you do this course. So think of Generative AI, my friends, as an artistic side of the artificial intelligence. It generates everything from images to the music to the natural language. So word generative means the power to generate something new based on the information or the input provided. Tools like ChatGPT, DALE, GitHub Copilot, Claude, Perplexity, Gemini are all Gen AI tools which you are using every day. So this course breaks down how the generative AI works and you will learn basics of the neural network and deep learning, the technologies that make all this happening and all this possible. And by the end of this course, my friends, you will be well versed in how the generative AI is changing the world and how can you use it. So basically the use case of the same. Moving on to the second course, let's talk about AI hallucinations. Now you may ask what exactly is this hallucination? I will try to explain AI hallucination with one analogy here. So let's say that a human is hallucinating. What does that actually mean? Well, the person is able to see the things or hear the things that are not actually real. But the person who hallucinates, he thinks that or he believes that these things are real or true. And similarly, AI also hallucinates and when it does, it actually confidently provides the information that sounds real, uh, but it's actually incorrect or completely made up. So just like a human being who is hallucinating, AI also produces the facts, the figures, the answers, the responsibilities that AI thinks is true, that AI thinks is legit or valid, but it is actually fake or made up. And of course, this can lead to disastrous results. And that is where my friends retrieval augmented generation or RAG comes into the picture. And it's very important that you understand RAG no matter where are you learning the AI or Gen AI from. So let me break RAG into very simple words starting with the retrieval which is the R. So retrieval refers to the process of searching relevant information from a large database or knowledge base. And this data could come from the sources like documentation 
वेब पेजेस आर्टिकल्स और एनी स्ट्रक्चर्ड सेट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड रिट्रीवल मीन्स गैदरिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेज नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली ऑर्ग्यूमेंटेड मीन्स सो द वर्ड ऑर्ग्यूमेंटेड इट मीन्स टू इम्प्रूव और इनहेंस समथिंग बाय एडिंग एडिशनल एलिमेंट्स एंड दैट इज वाई इन रैक द लैंग्वेज मॉडल रिस्पॉन्सेज आर ऑर्ग्यूमेंटेड बाय कंबाइनिंग इज जनरेटिव एबिलिटीज विद द रिट्रीव इन्फॉर्मेशन so you understand first step was retrieval second step is augmentation where it is kind of enriching the information it retrieved and it's actually augmentation that reduces the likelihood of the model producing hallucination or hallucinated facts and now comes the generation which is the most interesting part which is actually the response from the generative ai so the generation it refers to the language models capability to create and generate new content such as text based on the input prompt it can also generate music videos images and what not and all these outputs and responses be it text videos images everything is dependent on prompt engineering and by the way i will be also talking a very interesting course on prompt engineering in this very video so as i was saying generation involves using a model like a large language model or llm to produce responses in a natural language and friends to further help you on understanding the rag model you can also download this free ebook from the data breaks the link is given in the description box so hopefully you understand what is rag why it is so important in the world of ai and gen ai and the free course from nvidia that gives you all the details about the rag model is building rag agents with llms and this course really dives into the cutting edge approach showing you how the nvidia leverages the rag and it is a fantastic way to step up your game with language models with minimizing misinformation and besides this free course you can also check out the paid course which is around 30 The name of the course is Techniques for Improving Effectiveness of Rack System. So in case you really want to deep dive into Rack, this is the course you can check out. Now let's talk about animation. Well, we all love animation. So if you really want to learn the basics of animation using Open USD, then you can consider doing this free course from Nvidia. That is called Learn Open USD Setting Up Basic Animation. And in this course, my friends. This course is actually designed for both beginners and those with having some experience in 3D graphics and open USD providing you with the knowledge and skills to effectively use open USD in your companies or your individual projects and talking about animation well animation takes a hell lot of computing power so let's go for a shopping for a laptop well no i'm not selling any laptop here I really want to help you in case you are puzzled what is CPU or GPU remember I listed some activities including animation video rendering video editing and all these activities that are really compute heavy so we all when buying a good machine we are always puzzled CPU versus GPU and yes there is a course from Nvidia on this as well free of cost so let me first tell you what is CPU versus GPU So CPU my friends if you're buying a laptop with a basic CPU or let's say advanced CPU as well you are mainly using the laptop for the everyday task for example browsing the internet watching videos or maybe using some office software word excel powerpoint or maybe checking the emails so CPU based laptops are good for these day to day work coming to the laptops with CPU and gpu please remember gpu is a graphic processing unit so when you are looking for a laptop for high end gaming you are also looking for video editing 3d modeling or maybe studying ai gen ai or doing the modeling on the same then you need more than cpu and that more is gpu so you really need a dedicated gpu if you are doing all these compute heavy activities So as I was mentioning at the start of the video task like AI artificial intelligence machine learning gen AI video editing gaming all these uh, tasks are compute heavy and that is why my friends they all need parallel processing graphic processing and that is exactly why all major tech companies are behind Nvidia so that's the secret behind the success of Nvidia so let me tell you all these advanced chips that are produced by Nvidia the secret is parallel processing so unlike the CPUs which normally handle one task at a time 
Nvidia's GPUs are equipped with thousands of smaller cores that work simultaneously and provide unparalleled parallel processing. And you know what, how Nvidia does it? Well, it is called Nvidia CUDA technology that makes this all possible. So CUDA allows developers to write the code that runs efficiently on GPUs. And if you really want to get your hand or head around this CUDA, then there is a free course from Nvidia and that is called an even easier introduction to CUDA. And this course will help you understand how to organize and manage memory across all the parallel tasks. So a really wonderful course to understand or get an introduction on CUDA. But if coding is really what interests you, then there are some paid courses as well. So let me very quickly tell you what are the four paid courses as well. First one is optimizing CUDA machine learning codes with insight profiling tools. Second one, fundamentals of accelerated computing with CUDA Python. Third one, scaling workloads across multiple GPUs with CUDA C++. And the fourth one is accelerating CUDA C++ application with concurrent streams. So these were the four free courses that I told you, one, two, three, four. And all the links to all the free courses are given in the description box. And as I told you that there are other free courses as well, you can explore them. But now let me tell you two very interesting paid courses. The first one is prompt engineering. And prompt engineering, my friends, is simply the instructions or the questions that are called prompts to get the best possible answers from the tools like ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, Claude, Perplexity, or Google Gemini. And I'm sure that you all are doing. I don't need to explain what prompt is. So let me tell you that there is more what meets to the eye. So like everything, you can also learn the prompt engineering. And let me tell you, my friends, in the coming days, in the coming era, prompt engineering is actually a career option. People have already start to jump this bandwagon. They are learning prompt engineering and the paid course that NVIDIA is providing you is called prompt engineering with Llama 2. Llama 2 is basically the Meta's open source large language model. And this course will actually teach you techniques like few shots learning where you provide the examples to shape the model's response. And it's a very exciting skill that not only is going to get more valuable as the AI becomes more advanced. And the second course, uh, second paid course that I want to talk about is building real time video AI applications. Let's learn about this. So let me tell you in this course, you will understand the real changes faced in the video AI analytics. And you will also learn how to construct a streaming analytics pipeline with the hardware accelerated components. And you will be actually deploying a video AI application with NVIDIA's pre-trained interface models, sorry, not interface, but inference models. And you will be also able to measure and improve video AI application performance. So those were four free courses and two paid courses. Rest of them you can check in the description box. And yes, let me come to the bonus part of this video. And that is the free Gen AI course from Databricks. Let's talk about that. So first of all, I hope you have downloaded the Databricks uh, uh, free booklet on uh, CUDA. Please download that link is given. Now, let me tell you this course that you see, it's actually approximately 120 minutes and five short videos are there. And this will basically give you all the understanding of generative AI, its opportunities, challenges, use cases, how can you use AI and Gen AI. And additionally, you will also learn about prompt engineering techniques retrieval augmented uh, generation, which is RAG model. We just talked about that. And further, you will also understand how to fine tune models and pre-train the LLMs or large language models. And at the end of this video, there will be a very small and quick quiz that you need to give. And then you will get a certificate just like this that you see on your screen. So Databricks certification, my friends, I would say is also a good consideration. So along with the NVIDIA certification, you can also consider doing the Databricks certification. So friends, go ahead and make the best use of all these free courses from NVIDIA, from Databricks, learn AI, learn Gen AI and take your career from here to here. And yes, in the coming times, in the coming subsequent videos, we'll be talking more about these courses, the free courses, AI, Gen AI, certification vouchers and also Azure courses, AWS courses. Oh yes. One thing I want to tell you that I'm going to soon launch a course which will be 
I think called Azure Zero to Hero series. And in this course, we'll be actually learning Azure Cloud from the basics to beginner or advanced. I will see how it is uh, getting structured. But one thing I can tell you that this course will have a loads of labs, practicals, will be actually doing things, making our hands dirty. So please uh, subscribe to the channel so that you are notified on time when all these courses uh, are getting released. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.